Hi everybody, Masoud's here. Hope you had a great day. In today's video, I'm here to show you how you can have a beautiful, great uh, drag and drop functionality uh, in your website using React Beautiful DND library. Uh, as you can see, I prepared a sample project for it to show you how to implement this kind of list, uh, drag and draw functionality uh, in React.js. And here at my GitHub address, I will uh, add this link to the description. Uh, don't forget to check the source if you want to have more information about it. It's going to be useful for you. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, uh, subscribe now using below button to get more related content and tutorials. Okay, uh, here in my project, I have app.js file and inside it, I just have a div for the title and a user's page component that everything is located inside it. And here uh, I'm loading data from another file which is a just a simple array with name of some uh, users and the avatar and last name and here i just uh, load the data and insert it into our state and i have a render function and inside it i have a h1 for showing users and a div for uh, actually having a loop to render all the users and here I'm just showing uh, index as the number for number of the uh, user and its avatar and finally its name and family and here you can see it's my raw project it doesn't have uh, the drag and drop ability okay uh, the first thing that you need is to install the library and you need to use uh, npm to install it or yarn whichever you want pm install react beautiful dnt and dash dash save to save it Okay, uh, it's installed and I don't need it anymore. So the first thing that I need is importing the required elements from React Beautiful DND package. So I'm gonna import drag drop context and droppable. Droppable. Oh, sorry, I have mistakes here. Droppable and draggable. Okay, uh, they should be imported from React Beautiful DND. And we just gonna use these three components to build our list. Uh, let's see how they are related together i need to go to the main official repository of this library and here as you can see we have a gif image that shows that we have a drop drag and drop context it's our container for our app and here is all the info for example uh, droppable is going to be my list container and each item that can drag, uh, be dragged to somewhere else is going to be our draggable components. Okay, uh, let's use the first one. I want to add it as a wrapper to my 
all component, uh, drag drop context, and it needs to specify a function for on drag end. And don't forget that if you don't pass this function as a prop to drag drop context, your app is not gonna work at all. So this on drag end and add it here let's format it yeah it's now better and add the function on drag and and it's gonna accept a result from the component within this function we just need to get the new position of the element and put it at the right order inside our array which is users and it's located inside our states here i need to get destination and source and also reason from the context component from the result actually and uh, the destination and source are objects uh, which can which in it you can find the index of the destination and index of source item for example if i uh, want to move the third item to the first the source item will be this one and the destination will be the first row okay and I just need to check some situations that may cause problems and to prevent that I want to check if I didn't have any destination or even the reason was equal to cancel uh, it should return and uh, doesn't do anything for me and also even if I had destination droppable ID equals to source sorry dot droppable ID I will say what it is and destination index uh, was same as source index also it should return because it means that if I uh, uh, drop an element to the same place it shouldn't uh, do anything for us and here first of all I need to uh, create a copy from my uh, array so I'm gonna name it users and using object assign this state users and then I just need to make change to these users and set the state is that set a state and users so let's uh, first uh, remove uh, the item from the list and add it at the right place I need to have drop it user this state users and source index uh, yes uh, it will find from the users array to drop it index for me and then uh, I'm gonna use JavaScript spice function because it's really easy to work with so users spice and uh, source index 
and one let me write it first and then explain to you and here I need destination and index I don't want to delete anything and drop it user okay uh, here uh, imagine that we have an array something like this one two three four and the splice function takes three arguments the first one is start the second one is number of items should be deleted after the start position and the second the third item will be the item that we want to put after the start position and we can omit it and if we omit it actually it uh, only change the structure and don't add anything to the end of the uh, array or at the position here as you can see we use source.index for example uh, I want to uh, I dropped the third element to the first element and when I use source.index my index is going to be 0 1 2 and it will says that from this index one item should be removed so it will be something like this and in this line it will just add at the new position so if I drop it at the first uh, the uh, start position will be zero and I don't want to delete anything and I just want to add drop it user here so I will have drop it user here and again one two and four that's it okay uh, let's go for droppable component uh, let's copy it first and uh, as I said before I want to have the repeatable component as a container for this area so I need to add it here droppable and let's close it here and format it uh, we just need to define a droppable ID for it doesn't matter what the ID is I want to choose DP1 because in some projects we're gonna have several droppable and we even can uh, drag items from a droppable to another droppable and every droppable should uh, have a ID and it's required and as you can see here we use droppable ID to define that if the both uh, destination and source uh, list uh, were the same and also the index were the same should return for us okay uh, we can't pass our uh, HTML directly to the droppable uh, component we just need to write a function and return our div via that function and this way just you need to have this code and you don't need to actually understand what's going on because it's uh, the uh, behind the scene of uh, react react uh, beautiful dnd component okay i just i just need to have a function and uh, it will have it provided as an argument which will provided by a droppable component and then just cut this and return it in this way and also I need to define ref to provide it in a ref and just need some other props from provided droppable props and the only thing which has remained is to add provided placeholder here as you can see we use a function which accept a provided argument and it will 
actually set the ref uh, by using by doing this this derpable will have access to our div uh, via this ref i added i should add one another dot let's format it i don't like to be messy and uh, finally i need to use draggable for every item in the list and i have it here i just want to wrap it with draggable component and inside draggable i need to define my key because i have a list and react needs a unique identifier for the list i'm going to use index and also i need to set a draggable id and it's going to be something unique i can add index but you know you just need to convert it to a string i just want to add a string to it to be type of a string and you should define index and the index which is provided from our map function it's not beautiful let's do it in this way for mat and i only need to have a function same as before provided and add all the elements inside it and again i need to set the refs provided inner ref and provided draggable props and also provided drag handle props guys don't be confused because of these variables that we are passing to our div if you read the documentation of this package you will see that you have to use this structure and you don't actually need to understand exactly what's going on just adding these uh, props to our div will uh, help the component to access to our div and do the process for us because if uh, we wanted to do all the uh, drag and draw functionality ourselves it was a little bit complicated and i'm happy that it, this component uh, does everything for me and i guess uh, my component is going to be ready. Let's check it. Okay, uh, here, as you can see, uh, this functionality is applied completely on my project. Uh, if you are looking for more information about React or other topics in front end development, you can watch these videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, guys.